today we're going to be looking at a great old time tune called Spotted Pony. This tune is in the key of D and I'm in standard tuning today. So standard tuning is E, A, D, and G. Um, on the key of D, uh, finger placement is important. You have your uh, second finger as a low second finger on the E string. So it looks like this, that's your G note. Um, on the A string, D string, and G string, it's all high second fingers. So your second finger is going to be placed right behind your third finger. Uh, this, this tune is a call and response tune, meaning the roadmap for both the A part and for the B part is going to be first phrase, first ending, then you play the first phrase again and a second ending. So that first phrase is this call that's going out. It's almost like a question that's being asked. And then the first response is in a slightly uncertain answer. Usually, usually the first, an, uh, first endings have uh, a bit of a, a hanging ending. It's not quite tied up. And then you repeat the question again and you have an ending with more surety. So here it is. We're gonna take a look at that first uh, phrase or the call. On this, it's all straight bowing except for one slur. So it's separate bow, separate bow, separate bow. Here's our slur. It's going to be E to F sharp. And then separate bow, separate bow, separate bow. The notes to this phrase are F sharp, A, F sharp, E, F sharp, E, D, B. That phrase once more. Stop the video at this point, play that phrase 10 times until you feel confident in it. Then come back. We're now gonna take a look at our first ending of the A part. Like the first phrase, the majority of this phrase is separate bowings, all straight bowings. We have two slurs in it. The first slur are the first two notes, open A to B, and then separate bow, separate bow, slur F sharp to E, separate bow, third finger on the A string is our D note, open E, F sharp, A, open E. What's important about those two slurs is it's actually um, helping you to practice shuffle bowing in the midst of a phrase that doesn't sound necessarily like, necessarily like a shuffle bow phrase. Um, when you're beginning and you first learn shuffling, you learn just to play uh, a single note with a full shuffle. A full shuffle being long, short, short, long, short, short. And it can sound rather mechanical. As you start to incorporate that into songs, your bow is still doing the action of long, short, short, but it's covering multiple notes. So in this case, we're doing shuffle bowing at the beginning of this phrase. Long, short, short, long, short, short. And then here it changes just to straight bows. Long, long, long. So we're gonna take that phrase and I want you to pause the video, practice it now 10 times until you feel confident. Once more, those notes are A, B, D, E, F sharp, E, D, E, F sharp, A, E. And played through nicely. Now we're back and we're going to take another look at our next phrase. The third phrase of this we, is going back to the call. We're going to play our first phrase. The first and phrase are identical phrases. First and third phrase are identical phrases. So now we'll put together our first, second, and third phrase. So call, first response, call again.
ready now for our second response. This is our uh, fourth phrase now of the A part, and it starts in the same way that our first response was. It's a slur at the beginning from A to B. Separate bow, separate bow, slur from F sharp to E, then separate bow, separate bow, separate bow, separate bow, separate bow. Separate bow. So same spot for those two slurs. And it's again because we're creating shuffle bowing in the middle of this phrase. Long, short, short, long, short, short, long, long, long. The notes of this are A, B, D, E, F sharp, E, D, E, F sharp, E, D. That phrase through once more. Stop, play that 10 times. Now we're going to put together our entire A part. First call, first response, first call again, second response. We're going to play this entire A part twice through in a row. the B part. It has the same road map as the A part. It'll be call, response, call, second response. Now the call for this is a very simple phrase. It's half of the D scale. We're starting on our open D string, playing D, then first finger for E, second finger for F sharp, third finger for G. That's half of a D scale. With each of those notes, though, we're going to be playing a full shuffle. Reminder, a full shuffle is long, short, short. That is one shuffle. So each note is going to have one full shuffle. You can stop and play that ten times. That's our complete call uh, phrase for this. Good news, you actually know the rest of the song because the response to the B part is identical, the first response is identical to the first response of the A part. First call, first response. Then we repeat the first call again. And the second response in the B part is identical to the second response in the A part. So once you know just the A part of the song, you know three quarters of the song, not halfway. So we're going to put together the entire B part now, played twice through. pieces of the song, it's time to put it together. We're going to play the entire song all the way through from the very beginning. The A part is played twice and then the B part is played twice.
that is the basic melody of Spotted Pony. Now the, the next thing that you want to do is to add a little bit of embellishments to this song. Uh, one of the first things that you want to master as an old time musician, after just knowing how to play a tune through, is how to drone. So when droning, you're going to balance your bow exactly in the middle between two strings so that rather than having you suddenly have it's hard sometimes to know which string to emphasize when playing or to even be able to emphasize one of one over the other but one of the best things you can do is if you have to look at your strings imagine there's a third string exactly in between those two that's what you're trying to play on. If you play on that third string, it's going to evenly place your bow on the two strings that are literally there. So when adding drones to the song, whenever you're playing on um, the E string, you drone an open A. Whenever you're playing on the A string, you drone an open D. And whenever you're playing on the D string, you drone an open A. So in all of the cases except for the D string, you're going to drone the string to the left. When you're playing on the D string, you drone the string to the right. So this is what it would sound like, just as we played it, but with drones added. when working on this song is to practice dropping octaves on this. So rather than playing it as we are on the E and A string, this A part, we're going to learn how to play it on the D and G string. Any note that's been played on the A and E string in first position can be played on the D and G string. You just have to find the same note. So for the A part, our first notes are F sharp, A, F sharp. So we go looking for our F sharp, A, and F sharp on the D string. Our F sharp being that second finger on the D string, and we know that that's our beginning note. You can continue through the song um, by finding each note in its um, lower octave by naming it in its higher octave and then finding that note. So this is a rendition of the lower octave of the A part of Spotted Pony. <laughs> your pinky much, this is also an excellent place to practice uh, building up the strength in that pinky because it can be played either F sharp open A string back to F sharp or you can play the same phrase using your pinky on the D string F sharp A F sharp. Using that um, though it might be difficult and a little bit strenuous on your pinky in the beginning will strengthen that pinky until you don't even have to think about it when you want to use it and you can add slides and things like that if it's already strengthened. Um, when you come to the B part, we don't have enough lower octave notes to drop down that uh, B part 
a full octave. Um, so instead, we can take that scale, the half scale that we're doing on the D string, D, E, F sharp, G, and instead raise it an octave, starting on D being the third finger on our A string, D, E, F sharp, G. We couldn't play the response to the B part um, in a higher octave because it would mean moving up into third position on our fiddles, but we could either play it in its normal octave or add contrast by dropping down and playing what was before the higher phrase of the B part in a lower octave. So this B part could be played When you switch octaves like that, it can add some nice contrast in a jam when many fiddlers are playing uh, the same melody all the way through. So there's a few ways you can play the fiddle uh, tune Spotted Pony. I hope you enjoy it and have a great day.